Good morning. Another day in Wonderland. This is another episode of Poems for the Poetically Challenged. I have three poems today. The first one is called The Music One Looks Back On by Stephen Dobbins. In early autumn, there's a concerto possible when there's a guest in the house and the guest is taking a shower and the host is washing up from the night before. With each turn of the tap in the kitchen, the water temperature increases or drops upstairs, and the guest responds with little groans. Cold water for low notes, hot water for high. His hair is soapy, the tub slippery, and with his groaning he becomes the concerto's primary instrument. Then let's say the night was particularly frosty, and now the radiators are knocking, filling the house with a warmth, and the children are rushing around outside in the leaves before breakfast, calling after their Irish setter, whose name is Cleveland. And still asleep, the host's wife is making those little sighs one makes before waking as she turns and resettles and the bed creaks. Standing at the sink, the host hums to himself as he thinks of the eggs he'll soon fry up, while already there's the crackle of bacon from the stove and a smell of coffee. The mild groans of the guest, the radiator's percussion, children's high voices, the barking of a dog, even the wife's small sighs and resettlings combine into this autumn concerto of which not one of the musicians is aware as they drift toward breakfast and then a leisurely walk through the woods near the house. Two friends who haven't seen each other for over a year. Much later, they will remember only a color, a golden yellow, and the sound of their feet scuffling the leaves. A day without rancor or angry words, the sort of day that builds a life, becoming a soft place to look back on, and geese, geese flying south out of winter. Ed by Lewis Simpson Ed was in love with a cocktail waitress, but Ed's family and his friends didn't approve, so he broke it off. He married a respectable woman who played the piano. She played well enough to have been a professional. Ed's wife left him. Years later, at a family gathering, Ed got drunk and made a fool of himself. He said, I should have married Doreen. Well, they said, why didn't you? Elvis Kissed Me by T.S. Kerrigan. Elvis kissed me once, she swears, sitting in a neon dive, ordering her drinks in pairs. Two stools down, you nurse a beer sensing easy pickings here. Back in 68, she sighs, smoothing back her yellow hair. Teared mascara smears her eyes. Drawing near, you claim you've met. Offer her a cigarette. Call me cheap, she saw, or bad. Say that decent men dismiss me. Say I've lost my looks. But add, Elvis kissed me. So until next time, thank you very much.